Okay, so I've got them jets pulled out, okay, and this looks like to be an idle metering size here, okay, and you just want to be able to look through it and see light all the way through it, I don't think, I think you can see light through there now, but when you look through that, you need to be able to see through it, it needs to be clean, okay, and then you put a little bit of brake clean or WD-40 in that hole there, okay, See if I can zoom in on it. Put a little brake clean in there and watch it flow down and make sure that it flows out when you when you spray some in there because if it doesn't flow out then it's clogged up. See I can fill it up and it flows out. It drops. That's what you want. Now if you have compressed air can shoot some compressed air in there and you can see where it it'll fog out through the carburetor. Yeah, let me plug it up a little better. So see that hole on the opposing side there, the hole where it collects the air, it pressurizes through the carburetor and puts a, a bleed, an air bleed on that jet there and this jet will meter the amount of fuel that goes through according to the airflow. Okay, so that's how that one goes. This one here is the same thing. Clean it up, make sure it flows. I think this got a bigger hole in it. It's got a meter and rod. You put some, uh, whoops, sorry. Everybody's gonna get sick off of my shaking around here. You just wanna put a little bit in there, a little WD in there, it flows out nicely. This one here, it didn't take much to get it to flow. I mean, I put some brake clean in there, but once you uh, you shoot some air, you'll see it spray out the other side. So it's got good flow, works great. Put these back in there. When you, uh, when you mess with these, this one here, you can get it with some vice grips. Okay, you get some vice grips and get it started. Don't try to get this one started with the screwdriver. You'll blast this whole thing out with the cheap brass that's on there and it'll just totally blow it out, okay? And then this little one, see I've got a screwdriver here, just get a really old screwdriver, grind it down so that it fits in that slot perfectly, okay? Make sure that it fits in there beautiful. Put some WD in there, let it soak. Tighten it and loosen it a little bit at a time. Don't go bananas on any of these. Don't cross thread them. Don't do anything. Don't touch it. Be very careful. One of the problems with these is, is if you don't tighten it up enough, you're driving down the road in it out in the middle of the woods somewhere and this jet vibrates loose and falls out. Doesn't happen very often, but it does happen if you don't tighten it up properly. So that's good. And then just make sure this last one, we can't take it out, it's pressed in. Okay, so this point here, I'm not going to do anything else. I'm going to clean the bowl up real nice. I got the bowl in there. Okay, I'm going to clean everything up real nice. Put it all back together. Put me a temporary fuel tank and see how it runs and idles. If I still have lots of problems, it's got to come back off. I'm going to have to take apart more stuff and get more things flowing. Because it's got other circuits and things in here. Fuel shut off and other... Uh, type of circuits on there that if they don't flow properly it's not going to run right it's going to be a big problem I don't want to take it apart initially because if they do work I don't want to risk having a problem with a gasket or something falling apart so that's kind of where we're at there you can give everybody a look and see what the rest of the carburetor looks like and when you take those screws out of the float bowl screws you'll have to dig they put some kind of wax or some kind of stuff in the screw You'll have to dig that out and clean it out real nice. And then don't try to take it off with a screwdriver, okay? Get some vice grips and grab a hold of it with the vice grips and get it turning first. And then after you get them loose, spray WD-40 around this gasket. It has an O-ring gasket. Spray some WD-40 in here so that it will sweep in there and get this gasket loose because you don't want to tear this gasket up, okay? Gonna, we're going to reuse it. Okay, I'm going to grease it, put it back in there. It'll be just fine. So that's where we're at. Hope this helps somebody. Y'all have a good day.